Yes. Can you hear me okay though? Can you can you hear yes. us okay? Yeah. Perfect. Volumes Perfect. okay. Okay. Hmm. Yeah. Good morning. Well, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Depending on where you are. Now, it could be early morning too. I see at least one person out there. I don't know, I know is uh, signing in from California, which is 7.30 in the morning. Yeah. Hey, Daniel. And uh, so truthfulness, what in the world else can we, do we have to say about truthfulness? That's the parami of the month. Mm. Yeah, I, I, was, I was thinking, oh, I think you're talking about something this morning with regard to truthfulness. And my first, my first thought was, no, I don't want to talk about this. And then I thought, well, you can always say that and then say why you don't want to talk about it and why none of us really want to think about it too much. It's one of these deeper levels of truth. <clears throat> and um, it's really not a lot of fun. And it's not, it's something, but on the other hand, <clears throat> these, these truths are important. You know, they're very important in Buddhism. And the Buddha said we should reflect on them every day. You know, <clears throat> not, <clears throat> and not with a negative twist, but just because it's part of the reality that we're born into, you know? <clears throat> and it's, um, I call them the, the existential unavoidables. There's another, there's another, uh, there's another, you know, the four or five things that um, old age. Heavenly say, messengers. Well, they're heavenly messengers. <clears throat> I call them the existential unavoidables. <laughs> it's the things that, um, you know, the Buddha also, you know, even when he's talking about his teaching in Dukkha, is that the things that we can do something about. Yeah. And that's where most of his teaching was. was around. What, are, what are the things? That we can shape shift a little bit, you know, you know, to make our lives more harmonious in this world. And what are the things that eh, can't do so much about, you know? But we should reflect also on some of those things that we can't do so much about, because there's a natural tendency to turn away from them so much. Uh, and our culture, you know, is certainly turns away from these things as well as um, as as, as uh, problematic and things that we should not not make to foreground and they are um, <clears throat> sickness <clears throat> you know the buddhist you know it's right it's one of those lists that we just don't want to read i never wanted to read them I, yeah 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 i go yeah 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 i know i kind of know i kind of know but like that, you know, I kind of know, let's put that up on the shelf. Like, let's put sickness up on a shelf somewhere. Let's put old age. Yeah, 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 uh-huh. Yeah, I know everybody dies. I know, yeah, 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 yeah. But I don't want to think about that today. I definitely don't want to think about it every day. <clears throat> you know, there was that Zen master who came back from a long retreat and he's, and students gathered around and, and they said, you know, we want to know the deepest, your deepest insight, your deepest insight. There was a long pause and the students gathered around, you know, that kind of, that, that moment, yeah. What's your deepest insight, teacher? He said, well, yeah, here's my deepest insight. <clears throat> all of us, we're all going to die, but none of us live on a day-to-day -day basis as if that were true. An obvious truth, but not one that we want to integrate particularly, even though we see people, it's happening to others, but not to me. I take vitamins. I take the best vitamins, you know, I'm going to, yeah, I mean, you know, look, <clears throat> these are hard things to turn toward and, um, and there are a couple more as well that are even harder, uh, which we'll get to in a minute. But <clears throat> Susan and I have been turning toward, as part of our practice, gradually turn. You know, this is not one of those things that you just turn on the light switch. 
now I'm gonna now I'm gonna reflect on this every day or be aware. No, but gradually, gradually, gradually. I think it. I think as we get older, it, it kind of maybe maybe happens a little bit more naturally. But still, we have to invite it. But you've heard us say uh, when we wake up in the morning, and we did so. We do this every morning. Now, um, we woke up. We woke up, and then we look over, and there are two cats, and they woke up. And that's not like just check the box. Of course, we all woke up. Ha ha ha. No, you know we have a Zen, a Zen friend who will say, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. It won't always be so. You know, Zen has this way of putting things like, hmm, you know, hmm, just it won't always be so. Yeah. <clears throat> and so for us, <clears throat> first of all, it gets the day started on. <laughs> it puts everything into perspective immediately, you know, but there's also it's also been part of this other thing that we do, but the, the two are tied together. And when I read about truthfulness, and we read it, read it, look into it a little bit more, it's very much connected with metta and compassion and patience. It's not just this, check the box, tell the truth. It's about bringing the heart into the picture, bringing the heart into the picture. And for us, becoming more aware of old age and sickness and death, and that we are of the nature to not transcend any of those things, which is the way the Buddha expressed it, by the way. We are not of the nature to have transcended any of those things. Yeah, yeah. As we start to move into that, the truthfulness of that, and just be aware of that of more of the time, <clears throat> rather than, oh, no, not me. Oh, 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 oh. It actually increases <clears throat> our sense of gratitude, our sense of the preciousness of the of, of each day, you know, we're more in the habit, you know, in the pattern now of saying as these days go on, even days when we're doing a lot of work and there's a lot of things going on, a lot of shoulds, a lot, this is a good day. It's a good day. You know, that sense of it's all, it's with that sense of enhancing <clears throat> that we are here. How incredible and that we, uh, and I'll often say, says, you know, I'm so happy that I'm not sick. The things, the, the things that I don't have wrong. We focus on that. Do we ever focus on that? I focus on it all the time. I don't have any arthritis. At all, you know, and I'll go, ah. Oh, Buddy, you are so blessed. You are so blessed. Yet with this all, it's not, it won't always be so. It may not be our threat. It's going to be something. You know, it's going to be something. It's going to be something. We can do the best we can, but it's going to be something. You know, but mixing it up with, mixing it in with gratitude. The fourth one, the fourth one. You know, I wanted to just cross that one off the list. When I would look at the list, I literally would do this. Sometimes I would look at the at these uh, heavenly messengers, the existential unavoidables, you know, and I would literally look at the first three and I would put my hand over the fourth so I couldn't read it. Talk about trying to fool myself. About, you know, but I wasn't ready to integrate it at all, at all. This one, I still am not really ready to integrate. I'm being honest. It's I'm being truthful with you. It is. Sooner or later, we will be separated from everything and everyone that is near and dear to us. Cut it out. I don't need to hear that. But maybe I do. Maybe I do. You know, I'm starting a pattern now. I'm going to make a, a actually next month, I'm going to make a trip to my hometown to connect with a couple of the people, three of the people who've been important in my life a long time ago and really had 
helped set me in a in a in a really set me in a good in, in a good in a really positive direction. You know, my first high school girlfriend, who's still out there in Northampton, um, uh, and a couple and a couple other people, just to express my gratitude to them. You know, I thought about doing that a couple of years ago, and then I found out one of my early mentors, uh, one of my first, one of the first, one of the first people who taught me how to think, which I did not learn in school. I wanted to reach out to him and found out he died the year before. You know, we are going to be separated from those who are near and dear. If there's some business, to, you know, if there's something else in there for me, this is part of it. This is part of letting that truth in is I'm going around, I'm going to go around to some people and just to have a before we we completely fall apart. I don't want it to be every time at someone's deathbed or get, when I read their obituary. Yeah, 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 because and sometimes when I haven't seen anybody for a long time now for quite a while. Instead of saying, hey, how are you? I say, hey, we're both still here. We're both still here. Let's start from that point of view. <laughs> yeah, let's let's acknowledge that. And then now, how are you? You know, what's going on? You know? Yeah. So the truths that, that don't necessarily, oh, ooh, but truths that actually can bring something positive, you know, in, in, you know, into into our into our lives, right? And the ones that we all, I think it's kind of a common humanity thing to. Want to turn turn away? At the Buddhist time, it was harder to turn away from some of these things, you know. You know, you had these people, you know, being walked through the village, you know, just and they're going to be burnt, you know, cremated and so forth. And the, the lifespan, the average lifespan, was about thirty eight years old, and fifty percent of um uh uh. uh um, Children born died at birth, 50%, 50%. Death, sickness of all kinds. There was no penicillin. Sickness of all kinds. Early death, strife of all kinds. It was all around in India 2,600 years ago. It's still around in India. A lot, a lot more visibly, a lot more visibly. And, you know, here we've erected a few more safeguards so that we don't have quite to look at these things quite as much death is still a failure in the medical profession you know sickness is still a, uh, you know I, 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 we understand that there's a natural of course we don't really want want to let some of that stuff in but it is part of the truth isn't it and it's part of it's part of truthfulness it's part of our own self-honesty in, in regard to those truths that also pretty quickly is connected with metta and compassion. With compassion. Oh my goodness, we're all in this. We're all in this. We didn't, none of us made the rules about this. Right? And we all have needs. We all want to be seen. We all want to be validated. We all want to feel that we're lovable. We all want to love. We all want to be, we need to be connected. We need, we'd rather we don't need, but we do need. We need each other. We need, we're vulnerable. We're fragile and we're not here forever. Yeah? The real core kind of truths in there that um, maybe if we turn toward them just a little bit more, it enhances our life. It makes it a little bit richer, a little less taken for granted, a little less casual. Like there really are no ordinary moments. You know? Mm. So, yeah. 
That's what I didn't want to talk about this morning. But <laughs> yeah, <laughs> uh, thank you for listening. And um, let's, let's, let's practice together a little bit, okay? Yeah. So maybe opening up, <clears throat> opening up a little before we, before we settle in. And um, when you're ready, uh, lightly, if you're comfortable, closing the eyes. Maybe uh, a few deeper than usual breaths. You know, sometimes right at this moment, at the beginning of a practice, you know, the very first thing I'll do is I'm uh, having a taking a drawing a few deeper than usual breaths. And so I'll go, hey, buddy, you're still here. Your body's here, your breath is here, awareness is here. The heart is still beating, and the breath is still moving. Wow.
and caring attention. So, so common for us to slip into a kind of casual mode of noticing, observing. Um, I want to invite care, kindness, warmth. To link up with that observing. Heart and mind together.
Hmm, softening. and welcoming. As if each moment of experience had a right to be there.
the last few minutes of the meditation. Thank you, everybody. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for your practice. Stop the recording.